In this video, we'll be learning about the scientific notation. Four main objectives for this video are to define scientific notation, write numbers in scientific notation, convert from scientific notation to standard notation. So we will also get to learn what is standard no notation. Perform computations with scientific notation. Okay, so that's what we will be doing now. Why? Why is this important? Well, because sometimes we deal with extremely large or extremely small numbers and we need to be able to express them in an in a way that we can understand them okay so let's start with our first one define scientific notation so our first part of that will be to define it scientific notation provides a compact way of writing large numbers so um, write compact way of writing very large or small numbers okay for example for example and let me give you some examples suppose we were to have five nine eight six five zero six zero and we write something like this that is seems to be a very large number or we may have 0 0.0000000000072 etc etc so that means that we need to be able to express these numbers in a way that that it will not give us problems for us to write so let so let me give some examples and we and i'm going to give them in scientific notation so these are the examples of scientific notation consider three sets of numbers we have um, say for example 4.2 times 10 to the 8th power this is scientific notation 3.45 times 10 to a negative say 5 power that is scientific notation and if we were to have 8.625 times 10 to the 100th power that is still scientific notation so all these three examples are scientific notation now we need to identify certain things about this way of writing numbers if you notice it has a big number here number here number here then it has powers 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 or what we know as indices so every number written in scientific notation has the following so let me write that down every number written in scientific notation and this is very important scientific notation has the following form okay if not it is not scientific notation okay so let me give the breakdown of a bit so we, we, we are looking at this number notice that it is 4.2 3.45 8.63 every number will have two parts there's a decimal there's a number before the decimal there's a number after the decimal this makes one value this value here is a decimal between one and 10 notice none of them are less than one or more than 10 and then it will have times a uh, base 10 to a power here this piece here is an integer exponent now remember integer has both positive and negative value okay so therefore that can be a positive or a negative value so let me give a definition of scientific notation now let me zoom that in back again so definition right is a number is written and this is what is a scientific notation a number written in scientific notation 
notation when it is written as the product that means multiplication which we see here of a number between between one which means including one okay and ten denoted by the letter n and an integer power of 10 denoted small n in symbols very important scientific notation has the form n times 10 to the n power that is scientific notation its definition so let's go over this part here because it's very very important for us to understand the basics before we can proceed the most complicated part it is a compact way of writing numbers or, or in other words we write a big number or a small number in a very short way okay it has two parts the decimal part which is between 1 and 10 and it has the base 10 to a, to a power to an integer exponent so that is simply the scientific notation definition of it okay so now we go into the second part of it which is two write numbers so we have covered this we're going to write numbers in scientific notation so that's what we're going to do here to write numbers a number in scientific notation so any number right so to write a number in scientific notation we first determine the capital n and then the small n so let me write this down first thing to write a number and that means any number whether it's big or small in scientific notation scientific notation always and it's very important that you and this is what uh, what uh, what we mean by the scientific notation 10 to the small n notice where the small n and the capital n we first determine n the capital n and then the small n that is what we need to determine first of all so we will be changing a number say for example let's start with an example now suppose we i tell you change to scientific notation so we will be changing a number to scientific notation let me give you 250 million i want this change to scientific notation we need a strategy we need a plan well first of all we will write the number as a product so we do know that there needs to be some multiplication between 1 and 10 and a power of 10 so this will be written as a product of a number between 1 and 10 what does that mean like a decimal like 8.625 and a power of 10 which means 10 to a certain power that's what we mean so that's our strategy so let me write this the steps here once okay your strategy strategy is to write so this is your first thing write the number as a product so this is your strategy that you are aiming of a number between 1 and 10 and a power 
of 10. That's our strategy. Why? Well, why are we going to use a strategy? Well, why numbers, because we all know from the definition of scientific notation, numbers written in scientific notation, scientific notation have the form of n times 10 to a small n that's why we're going to use it this is the number between 1 and 10 n number between 1 and 10 and the power of 10 which is this okay so now we have our idea how are we going to tackle the problem so now our solution now will be as follows we know that one that um, 2.5 lies between 1 and 10 okay so let me write that down in detail and then the other ones will be skipping the word part note that 2.5 lies between 1 and 10 to obtain um, this value here which I just read 250 million the decimal point point in 2.5 must be move it places to the right okay so um let me put it to the left because you're going to notice that when you move it to the right we're going to be looking at a particular table so facing this paper here this will be known as your left this direction here will be known to your right so let me change this this word here right to left to the left okay right would be in 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 your case okay so let me write out the number we this is what i said to obtain this the decimal part point 2.5 must be moved eight places to the left so we have here two let me use a different color pen we have two five zero 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 because this is a number the decimal is actually right there so we move it to get 2.5 this is what we do one two three four five six seven eight so this becomes now 2.5 okay now that's eight places to the left because multiplying a number by 10 moves the decimal point one place right now in this case if we multiply this by 10 and it's to the right then we accomplish this by, multi by multiplying 2.5 times 10 eight times what does that mean since we move to the left your power will be times 10 how many places eight this way you need to be cautious with the words you move to the left so your power is positive okay so let me ask a question what do you think will be the sign if you move to the right the decimal point if you move to the right then this then the power would, would be if you said negative you're correct so therefore let me just explain this over again because it's a little bit con confusing sometimes since i move the decimal point towards my left okay this is my my left i put a power of that amount of places that i move why to the power of 10 because multiplying this number here by 10 move the decimal point one place to the right you multiply this by 10 it moves it here multiply it again by 10 it moves it here multiply it by 10 it moves it here so therefore we put it to the power to the to the positive power we can show by the multiplication of 2.5 by 10 to the 8th power 
using the scientific notation. Thus, this number here, which we got, this number here, written in scientific notation is 2.5 times 10 to the 8th power. Okay? So if you notice, that's a lot of information. So then in this problem, we move the decimal point to the left and it gotten a positive power. Okay? So we're going to try now an example with a value that is a decimal, not a whole number as this one here. So let's go to our next page for our second example. This time I'm not going to be writing so much words as we already know what is our plan. Strategy, why, and then we find our solution. So our second example now. Second example. Change, let me write it change to scientific notation and let's put a decimal 0 0.1234529 um, um, so we have written a decimal and we have to change this decimal to scientific notation we need, we need a strategy, we need to know why, and then we find a solution. The strategy is that we will write the number as a product of a number between 1 and 10 and a power of 10. That is very, the first thing. We all know that why, because that's the way you write scientific no notation. Why? Numbers are written in scientific notation having the form of capital N times 10 to the negative, to, to the positive, to the small n. We know that for a fact. So therefore, our solution for this now is as follows. Um, first of all, we note that, so let me write this step here. We note that 2.78, notice where I'm putting the decimal here, first number, okay? 2.78 is between, this number is, is between, is between 1 and 10. Okay, to obtain this number now, the decimal point 2.78 must be moved six places to the right. Okay, so now to obtain decimal, okay, we have our number 0.1234529. We have this number. For us to obtain 2.78, we do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we end up with 2.78. Okay? So this has moved to the right, to your right hand side. Okay? We can accomplish now this by dividing 2.78 by 10 to the 6th power which is equivalent to multiplying 2.78 times, times 1 over 10 to the 6th power or simply by saying, so remember, because we move to the right hand side, this is actually 2.78 times 10 to a negative 6th power. So then if I move the decimal point towards my left hand side, I need to make it the power negative, okay? 10 to the negative 6 is also can be seen as 1 over 10 to the positive 6. Remember the last the, the laws of indices. So therefore, this number here written in scientific notation, move the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just stop right there. You don't go farther. Okay? Because remember the rule says the first value must be between 1 and 10. Okay? And then the amount of places that you move, that is what is the power. If you move to your right hand side, it will be a negative, a negative value. If you move to your left hand side, as in this one here, it will be a positive value. Okay? So that's how we work changing a number to scientific notation. Okay? Let's... Now, those numbers which we have seen here, you convert into scientific no notation. However, you may get a number with a with a number that looks like in scientific notation, but it's not scientific no notation. So let me give a few examples on those ones there. 
another example so if i give you something like this and i tell you write in scientific notation i want you to write um three four five point zero times ten to the fifth power i want you to write this number in scientific notation well some may say that this scientific no notation no it's not because the rule says that the first value before this decimal must be between one and ten and this is more than one and ten okay so our strategy here is to write the number as a product of one and ten and a power of 10. Numbers written in scientific notation are always written as n capital N times 10 to n small n. So to write this number here in scientific notation, because this is not scientific notation, eh, we need to move the decimal point here. So if you notice now, let me write that down. So we have 4, 3, I mean 3, 4, 5.0 times 10 to the fifth power. I will be working with this piece here first. So let me work with this piece. All right, this is the piece that I'm going to be working. I'm going to move my, my decimal point here. One, two. So this becomes now 3.45 times 10 to the what power? Positive two. Excellent, because it moved two places. So that's in scientific notation. This next piece here is what will come down here. So now we'll say times 10 to the fifth power. Okay. Well, notice. Write this down darker. This 3.45 times 10 to the second power came from this piece here. And 10 to the fifth power comes down here. Now, we have not finished yet. We must recall the lines of indices that says this piece and this piece that says a base to a power times that base to a different power. We keep the base and simply add their powers. So therefore, the next step would then be 3.45 times 10 to the 2 plus 5, which is then 3.45 times 10 to the 7 power. That is now in scientific notation. According to the rules of what it is, this first number is between 1 and 10, and it is a base 10 to, a, to an integer. So what we have done here now is that we have written a number which looks like scientific notation into scientific notation. So we have covered this one here. Convert scientific notation to standard form. So this is the one that we are going to be doing now. Convert scientific notation to standard form means then the reverse that is point three okay convert from scientific notation to standard form to change a number written in scientific notation to standard form for example we have um 5.4 times 10 to the um, six power um two standard form I want to change this to standard form. So let's start this with an example. First of all, we multiply 5.4 times 10 to the sixth power. What does that mean? Well, let's write. Let's start this piece. We have 5.4. This 10 to the sixth power is actually what? Times 10. And how many zeros should there be? Remember, if we move here one two if, if, if we had moved one two to your left hand side we'll write that amount of powers since this is a positive power you will need to move to your right hand side now so that's a uh, one two i mean one two three four five six so there is it now and i, I want you to note carefully that you are not going to include this first zero as one of the zeros of the six. This is telling you 10 multiply itself six times. So the zeros will start after the 10. Okay, so that's we one, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore we have 10 to the sixth power. So 10 to the sixth power. So 10 to the sixth power 
is equal to one followed by six zeros okay so let me write this down 10 to the sixth power is equal to one followed by six zeros this now gives us how much this now gives us when you multiply 5.4 times this 5 4 and you add your six zeros okay or in other words just move the decimal point six places one be here one two three four five six you will get that value there okay that's because you have moved that amount of places all right oops sorry my mistake i meant to put here a seven guys this is supposed to be a seven 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 zeros here seven seven sorry about that that should be seven that's why we move seven zeros so if you notice here we have 5.4 if a decimal was here it would move one two three four five six seven so you do not have to go into a, a calculator and put 5.4 times this big number some of your calculators will not will not even hold this number okay so you will need to write it in scientific notation within your calculator we are not going to be using scientific we, are, we will not be using calculators to multiply big numbers like this so we will be shortening them down to small numbers and use basis tens so that we can multiply them out much faster by using the laws of indices when we start to multiply numbers okay so that's how we're going to be doing those numbers there here are a few more examples so other examples let me write it down suppose we have um 6.32 times 10 to the fifth power convert to a um, to to um, this converted to standard notation we move the decimal point moves five places to the right okay so we put here six three two and if we move it five five places we put one two three four five so you have one two three three zeros added there you just notice so our value is actually six three two one two three zeros and that's a standard notation if we have eight point nine five times ten to a negative four that means that the decimal point will be moving towards its left hand side so write the number towards your right hand side okay because it will be moving towards your left hand side so you move it four places one two three four so you add on the zeros there and the decimal point right here but you put a zero here so therefore that becomes zero point one two three eight nine five this is standard notation okay if we have a next example um 8.66 times 10 to the zero power let me see who will guess this what will be the solution well there's no movement of the decimal for this one here why because anything to the zero power is always one so if you multiply 8.66 times 10 to the one power that will give us 8.66 remember that anything to the zero power is always one so let's summarize a few things about scientific about converting scientific scientific to standard notation key points one the exponent i mean for, for, let me just explain this the exponent on 10 this exponent on this 10 here is positive move the decimal point the same number of places to the right as the exponent if the exponent on the 10 is negative move the small point the same number of places to the left as the absolute value of the exponent okay so that's what it means just move them forward and backward that should not be that difficult for us to do okay so we are we are at this point now and now we're going to perform computations with scientific notations here's where more thinking comes in so this is our fourth objective for this video.
to perform computation with scientific no notation, the advantage of using scientific no no notations um, becomes apparent when we evaluate products or quotients that contain a very large or very small number. What does that mean? If you are multiplying very large numbers and you have them with so many zeros and then it's too difficult for us to type, type it into a calculator. So let me just give two a, a problem and we will be multiplying it out. Okay. So this particular problem um, is something like this goes. Um, expect that the sun, we uh, as, um, as in astronomy, we expect that the sun, which is which is our nearest star visible to the naked eye, from most parts of the United States or um, is Sirius. Um, light from Sirius reaches Earth in about 70,000 hours, which is a little bit unimaginable for us. In light, if light travels at approximately 670 million miles per hour, how far from Earth is Sirius? That's a part in our galaxy. Okay, strategy. We will use a formula which we can use to find the, the distance because we know that speed times the time taken will give us the distance. Okay, so for right now, I'm not going to be worrying with equations. What you guys will be doing is simply multiplying two scientific notation values. So, multiply scientific notation. We are not interested in equations right now. So, let's say I give you 6.7 times 10 to the 8th power times 10.0 times 10 to the fourth power how are we going to evaluate this well if we were to put this amount of zeros here it would be a large number we put this amount of zeros it would be a large number for us to punch into our calculator but what we will do because we know what what are laws of the, the laws of indices we could identify something right here already familiar 10 to the eighth 10 to the fourth there's a rule that says a base to a power times that base to a different power we keep the base and simply add their powers. We will do that. But we need to play around with this equation or with this problem. So let's take now 6.7 times 7.0. Numbers with numbers times, bracket means times, 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 4th. Okay, so if you notice, we, we are grouping them. 6.7 times 7.0 is actually 46.9 times well we know the rules of indices says you will add the powers we put 10 8 plus 4 which is 12 and that is your solution okay so notice how we got our value however this is not scientific notation okay because scientific notation says that it must be a value in front of the decimal which is between 1 and 10 and this is 46 which is far above what well, far above 10 and is not below 1 so now to move this in cent to convert this to scientific notation we will now need to move the decimal point one place to the left which will then give it a positive value so we put 4.69 times 10 to the first power this 10 times 10 to the 12th power okay however we need to combine these two using the same rule here so this becomes now 4.69 times 10 to the 13th power so that's how we can convert it to scientific notation so now this is the final answer okay for that particular problem there so it's not that difficult this is for multiplication of scientific no notation so notice what we did we put the decimals combined to multiply by themselves you put the bases combined to multiply by themselves then whatever you, you you end up with if you end up with something that, that is more than 10 with the whole number on the left hand side then you need to move the decimal point okay i'm going to show one with division right now and see what then happens so this is for multiplication so let me put this here multiply for multiplication so let's do one with division consider uh, next example let me put the next example i put um, 2.4 times 10 to the second power over 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd power. What is that? Let me zoom into that problem there. 
so it's much closer okay so now how do we work this out this is actually division because the line between means you did division well then don't worry about it what you're going to do you're going to work all numbers with numbers basis with basis so the first thing you're going to do is look at 2.4 that's a number and 6.0 that's a different number so you put 2.4 over 6.0 okay times 10 to the second power over 10 to the 23rd power okay so now we here we can recall the laws of indices that says if you have a base to a power divided by that same base to different power we'll keep the base and subtract the bottom power the denominator power from the numerator power okay so 2.4 divided by 6.0 will give us 0 0.4 times well 10 top power which is m to take away 23 and that is going to give us now 0 0.4 times 10 to a negative 21 now that's our solution however that is not in scientific notation why because this value in front is not 1 it is below 1 and it's not 10 so therefore we will need to move this decimal point towards your right hand side okay and that will give it an x10 to a negative one power so you put that so you put here 4.0 times 10 to a negative one then let me show how i got this if it's 0 0.4 you put here let me do that in red you move it here one to get it a whole number and you put a zero in front there so that becomes 4.0 because you move to your right hand side your decimal it becomes a negative one and then this top value becomes times 10 to a negative 21. now the laws of indices says that if you have a base to a power times that same base to different power we will keep the base and simply add their powers now be careful negative 1 plus a negative 21. if i owe you a dollar and i add on more to my borrowing which is 21 dollars how much will i owe you if you said 22 dollars then you're perfectly correct but since i owe that cannot be negative i mean that cannot be positive it must be negative so negative 22 and now that is in scientific notation this other example here was for division so we have done multiplication division converting from standard to a um, scientific scientific to standard that's what we have done in this part of our topic so we have covered those main points so all four objectives here have been covered